This is one of my favorite hip hop records. It's Ghostface Killa's Iron Man, released in 1996. Listen to Fish, the ninth track on the record. My triple sevens broke the slot machines out in Queens, great Bupanis, rebel on rap, smack cross from like... Yes, this archetypal Ghostface verse is cryptic, stream of consciousness, and in your face. But it also gave me a sense of deja vu. That's because four tracks before, you'll hear this verse from Raekwon. Yeah. First of all, before we move on, this shit is like a Yukon dawn. Spread it out like Grey Poupon. Wu Tang must just love Grey Poupon. It makes sense, they rap about food a lot. But as I was working on a video about Kanye West, I heard him too rap this on his 2016 song Facts. Easy, 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 this is pure luxury. I give him Grey Poupon on a DJ mustard. That's fully 20 years later. I listen to hip hop all day long. So I started logging any time I heard Grey Poupon referenced in rap lyrics. It turns out, Grey Poupon is everywhere. Why is this little jar of fancy mustard so ubiquitous in rap music? Well, it starts here. The finer things in life. Happily, some are affordable, like Grey Poupon Dijon mustard. These ads started in 1981, and immediately they were a hit. When the first ad was tested in Seattle, the brand reportedly saw a 100% jump in sales. They tested it again in New England, and the same jump in sales happened, proving it wasn't a fluke. Previously, the brand had only ever used print advertising to appeal to an upper-class audience. But mustard was the condiment of the 80s, and Grey Poupon wanted a piece of the pie, even at a higher price point. A jar of Grey Poupon was nearly double the price of French's or Golden's. So in 1981, this ad aired, telling consumers across the U.S. that Grey Poupon was gourmet and affordable. While the phrase, Pardon me, would you have any Grey Poupon? inserted itself into the American lexicon. Over the next 10 years, the campaign emphasized the mustard's affordability while traveling on trains, planes, and yachts. This, of course, brings us to the early 90s, when Nabisco wanted to change up the campaign. I said to the client, you have a pretty memorable campaign here. You hardly spend any money at all. I think that you should not change the campaign, but we should just figure out a way to make it more approachable. That's Lee Garfinkel. He worked for the agency that made the ads. Yeah, so we came back with the idea of the guys kind of poking fun at each other. You, is this about the mustard again? Yes. <laughs> would you have some? Oh, since you're offering, yes, thank you, I would. They added a squeeze bottle to emphasize that Grey Poupon was a fancy mustard you could use every single day. And sales took off again. That same year, Das FX, the influential East Coast hip hop duo, began recording their debut album, Dead Serious. Das FX are the ones who crammed multiple syllables in a bar by adding iggity at the end of words. When Dead Serious was released in 1992, it went platinum, and the single They Want Effects quickly reached the top 10 on the Billboard charts. But it's the song East Coast that marked what is probably the first Grey Poupon reference in hip hop history. Within that same month, Wayne's World premiered. Pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> By the spring of 1992, this glass jar of bougie white wine mustard spread across the pop culture landscape and started one of the weirdest trends in hip hop music. Fuck nah, I ain't got no Grey Poupon. Well, anyway, I said, that's no burglar, that's my butler. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rockefeller, let me in on the gossip. I heard you and Mr. Getty are getting into rap music or something. Yes, we have this thing we do with our voices. This chart shows the rise of Grey Poupon in recorded music from 1992 to 2016. And it reveals something really interesting about how words are used in hip hop culture. This particular brand of Dijon mustard has been like referenced a lot in rap music. I've used it a bunch. It comes up in freestyles all the time. That's rapper Open Mike Eagle. And I think in this particular phrase, there's a couple reasons for it. In one aspect, I think it's just how convenient of a rhyme it is. 
and it rhymes with like coupon and neutron and futon and like all these things that are kind of around. 26 and I done lived a lifetime a few times from futons to great coupons. In church trying to get a little savings, yeah, coupon. I spit that A1 every day, I'm hitting new primes. Out of the 118 songs mentioning the mustard, the most common rhyming word is coupon with 20, followed by futon and crouton. I got the great bouffant you've been worn Cause all beef return well done for late me on The dawn, smell the dawn on my breath as I not only is Grey Poupon a good rhyming word, it also represented something. Hip-hop has always kind of had this obsession with like status symbols. If you have money, you have Grey Poupon. You don't have like French's mustard. It's just, I think it's just a very effective commercial in that way. Most of the songs mentioning Grey Poupon over the last 24 years have used it as a symbol of class. Halfway using it to brag or using it, like you said, as a juxtaposition to how poor they were. I try not to do wrong, but I want to be in that limo asking for the Grey Poupon for a change. I'm sick of saving change from a coupon. Others have used the Dijon mustard to signify how exquisite their rapping skills are. Yeah, you like a half off coupon. Me, I'm like a fresh jar, great coupon. Give me the mic quick, I need something to poop on. Pull up in your driveway, see me getting my hoop on. And the rest? Well, Grey Poupon sells sex. Get you in the mood, throw them slow grooves on. Spread you on the futon like Grey Poupon. So have you, have you been able to find a 2007 event that made it spike? I think I did, Mike. By 2007, the commercials hadn't been on the air for a full decade. So why is it that from 2007 on, there's just a huge jump in the number of references? Well, the majority of Grey Poupon songs in 2006 and 2007 were on albums that debuted at number one, had hit singles, and got a ton of radio airplay. For instance, Jim Jones says Grey Poupon in his hit song, We Fly High. The track took off in late 2006 when the New York Giants' Michael Strahan started celebrating sax with a jump shot, which was a reference to the song. By 2007, kids in dance clubs across the country were jump shotting every time Ballin' was sung. It ended up being the 28th most popular song by the year's end. Two Step by Unk had an accompanying dance called the Two Step. And again, it features a Jim Jones verse that references Grey Poupon. The same year produced Show It To Me by T.I. with a Nelly verse. That album debuted at number one. Country niggas in the Chevy passing Grey Poupon. And boom, off of what is probably Lil Wayne's greatest mixtape, The Drought 3. I got more clips than any movie you saw. I pull up on you like I need some great poop pump. Did I mention Southside, the Kanye West common collab? I'm still the future of the shot. Back in college, I had to get my back up off the food time. I knew that I couldn't cop a coupe with no coupons. Look at that neutron on his green like two times. People asking him, do you have any great coming from? It was nominated for a Grammy for Best Rap Album that year. From 2007 to 2016, a huge percentage of Grey Poupon songs ranked on the Billboard charts or were on albums that did. The commercial itself probably had little to do with the recent rise of Grey Poupon in lyrics. It seems that the more Grey Poupon was in people's ears, the more it was wrapped by other artists in subsequent years. Nothing proves this more than the song by the Dutch rap group De Jeugd won tegenwoordig. It's entirely in Dutch except for this line. Money out the tongues, oh, let's get it on. No pain I got my leg like a pawn. And I know the fuss of my head, then I come. I'm an own, I'm an own, I'm an own. I reached out to Kraft Heinz, who now owns the Grey Poupon brand, to see if the Dijon mustard is even sold in the Netherlands. I got this. Hi, Estelle. No, it's not. Did you ever notice that a lot of rappers use the word? Being a rapper and being a kind of rapper I am, I've always paid like a lot of attention to words. But I looked at your list, I was just dumbfounded though. I just hadn't, I had no idea it was that many times. You know, looking at that list, it almost has to be subconscious. I think if anybody was aware that it had been used that many times, they wouldn't still use it. Nothing, nothing is, is quite as, as ubiquitous as that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, there are two links in the description below. One to a Grey Poupon playlist, uh, on Spotify with all of the best Grey Poupon songs, and another to Vox.com. I partnered with Sarah on our graphics team and she made an amazing interactive, complete with a timeline and sortable list for all of the songs. You can play them, hear all of the, all of the crazy Grey Poupon verses. 
Um, thanks for watching, and of course, please subscribe. Mustard. <laughs>